Thanks, Robbo. Football and politics. They don't mix. Uh, now it's time for your favourite segment, supposedly. Max and Gorn, big job this week. He's got the big dog. It's the coach in Gorn in 60 Seconds. Uh, welcome back to Gorn in 60 Seconds. Um, unfortunately, I was looking for a big dog this weekend, but I've unfortunately got Mr Mark Neal. But um, we'll run off it. Are well, you ready for Gorn in 60 Seconds? Yeah, ready as I can be, Max. Right. Lovely to be here. Here we go. What do you got for me? I've got to survive 60 seconds of this mess. Right. <laughs> You have three daughters. You've got to pick one of the boys to marry. Which one would it be? Tom McDonald. You have high expectations on tackling. Can you explain why in your first six games you only got four tackles? No, I can't. Back when I played, <laughs> there was only one statistician doing the whole, both teams. Now, if, we had, if I'd have been fortunate enough to play in the era where there's eight stats blokes and champion data sitting up in the box, I think that would have been accelerated by about you know half a dozen a game easily. So, yeah, what else you got? Is your favourite name Jack? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, no, I like it. Good. That'll do. <laughs> Is it true Ocean Grover made Premiership stubby holders with your picture on it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who runs quicker when they can see the finish line? Sam Blees or Usain Bolt? Bleasy. <laughs> Have you ever seen... Finish, finish line or goals? <laughs> Both. Both. Bleasy. What's more exciting, Tom McDonald's future or me training day one pre-season? Oh, you, Max. Clearly. <laughs> Does every word in your vocabulary only make sense if the word elite comes before it? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Mark Neal, that's going cool to 60 seconds. Thanks, Max. <laughs>